Well, hey there, Donald. No. Nope. Hello. No. Hello, Marzipans. My name is Marzia. No. Nope. I need a catchy hello greeting. Hola. Oh. Yes, I'm aware I'm wearing exactly the same thing as I was on Monday. I didn't get changed for five days, all right? Sue me. On the second channel, Mama Orange, I asked you to vote for the top 10 questions out of 44 that you wanted me to answer. Sounds confusing, don't worry about it. I'm gonna go through each of the 10 questions and answer them, and we're all gonna get to know each other just a tad little bit more. This is pick 10. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in ascending order of votes. So the, the least voted of the top ten voted to so number ten which had the most votes. Number 31 had 10 votes and it was what does your last text message say from Emma it says you obviously have a preference and what size? What could it be about? Pizza. The next question was number 38, it had 12 votes and it was what was my childhood career choice? I don't know, I've got memory problems. So I texted my mum and asked her what my what I wanted to be when I grew up as a child. Apparently it was policeman. My childhood was so long ago. The next one also had 12 votes, it was number 29, a reason I've lied to a friend. I guess a pretty bad one when I was in school. You alright Brad? You alright mate? I got it from Clive, who heard from Malcolm, who got it from Kelly, that you fancy my girlfriend. Is that true? No. This one also got 12 votes. It was number six. Which age do I get mistaken for? The more beard I have, the older I look. If I shaved this off, I'd look about 14. If I grew it out, like an old wizard, I'd look 96. The next question had 16 votes. It was number 26, and it is, what are my biggest pet peeves? Lots of people annoy me for a lot of different reasons. Uh, because I'm a horrible person. So I asked Emma what she thinks my biggest pet peeve is, and she said slow people, and that's probably that's probably it. When people are slow, and by slow, I like I don't even really mean slow, I just mean like slower than instant. The next one had 18 votes. It was number 44, a random fact about anything. A group of toads is called a knot. The next question had 23 votes, it was number 28, a description of the person I dislike the most. Uh, this one's pretty easy. Imagine someone who looks exactly like me. Shave off the beard, crop back the hair to just nice and short, darken the hair, blue eyes, no tattoos, no piercings, older, 50s maybe, about now. That's right, it's my dad. The next question had 24 votes, it was number 43. The sexiest person that comes to mind immediately, my dad. <laughs> what? He looks like me. I look like him. The next one had a whopping 25 votes. It's the penultimate question, number 35. What do I find attractive in men? Now, a lot of you probably thought, oh, he's straight. He's not going to be able to answer this, or maybe he won't even want to. It's muscles and good jaw structure around the face. Imagine Jimmy 0010's jaw on the guy from True Blood. That. That's my man. The question that you all voted for most, with 44 votes, was number 18. What is my most traumatic experience? <laughs> so we've all learned something today. We've learned some things about me, and we've learned that you're a bunch of sadists. Um... I mean, my most traumatic experience is literally too traumatic for a comedy video on the internet. I'll sort of, I'll give you my like PG-13 most traumatic experience because we're going to end this video on a seriously dark note if I don't. I'll tell you something awful that happened to me then. Let's picture the scene. I'm in America, I'm in Florida, my mum's there, my sister's there, my cousins are there. And we go and see this thing called Arabian Nights. It's like a thing where you sit down and you eat some food and there's like a show that happens in the middle in like a pit. It's horrible really. It's like a coliseum. It's like a modern day coliseum in Florida. We're pretty close to the front. Not like front row, but we're close enough. At some point in the show, this fucking horse comes running out, right? Now, some of you will know that I have a crazy, horrible phobia of horses. Specifically, I don't like midnight black horses that have that sort of moonlight shimmer when they run along. It freaks me out. My spine's tingling and I feel weird just thinking about it and talking about it now. So I'm sitting eating my dinner. Oh, this is great, Mum. Thanks for bringing me to Arabian Nights. I'm loving it. Bam! This massive horse comes running out and it is the horse from my fucking nightmares literally unleashed 
unleashed on me from the fucking from the fucking gate from the fucking gate laps and laps and laps of this thing and i'm just freaking out now because it's it's the worst thing it seriously traumatized me and it was really like i i don't like it all right Thank you for watching the video. Thanks for sticking around. Thank you for all the nice messages for me and Liam on the previous video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up and a comment and a subscribe and, a, and all that. And all that. Get your likes. Roll up. Pound your pair. On Monday, I'm actually away over the weekend. So I'm going to be getting a friend of mine to fill in for me. His name's Theodore. There he is now. You all right, Theodore? <laughs> He's really weird. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, no. It's really sad when I do it by myself. Just give it a wave.